unboxing now or later and welcome to Helian's house of Neil Helian along with Hungry Drakir and welcome to the next Monkey Island game because we had to give up on Escape from Monkey Island because yeah it just uh, we could have gotten it to work but it would have taken so much trial and error and just took would have taken so much time that I don't think by the end of it we would have been we would have definitely called it quits then anyways because yeah, of all the was, randomization bullshit and such yeah it was sluggish and the bug required you to restart the game from the very beginning this would take hours even through rushing through it it would take hours just to do the sluggishness that people may have seen so, and of course yeah. something about randomized monkeys and a day and all that yeah the game did not age well yeah, I, I like what some of the idea, some of the ideas they had in it with randomizing bits so that you couldn't, you know, so you'd have to actually play the game and couldn't just use a guide to more well, instantly get the answers. But to the amount of randomization they put in was a bit excessive, like put in like four or five op different things that it could be, not just average run randomizers with 26 options on each point or something. <laughs> yeah bloody heck so yeah after escape from monkey island we are well here on tales of monkey island on chapter one launch of the screaming norwal um let's see a bit of a summary from what i recall was supposed to happen in escape from monkey island is that it would have turned out that um the mayor the 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 yeah. Elaine's opponent in the mayor uh, election, uh, may mayoral, mayoral would be the word I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be LeChuck in disguise, for some reason. Don't I would <laughs> not be surprised. But yeah, let's leave that game behind and start a new game or a new tale. Uh, Lucas Arts. And Telltale Games. I'm pretty sure they are still defunct. I think they had a short resurgence, but yeah, they they just they just did the Guitar Hero uh, mistake. monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. <laughs> Impressed yet? Not half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Ah, Threepwood, you've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. <laughs> Ooh, I'm on. Ooh, I'm on. Yeah, well, you fight like a. No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? Die, Brush. To your mast. Oh, yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> uh, let's see. Click and drag your mouse in the direction you want to go. Wait, really? A yep. Okay, that's a bit odd. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this was supposed to be, if this is supposed to be the ending of Escape From or something entirely new. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and the Chuck's as good as toast. Nicky disease toast. Let's see, the cursed cutlass of Kaflu. 
ingredients steal 37 ounces of bloodstained silver, the ultimate insult, Midas diamond, voodoo doll, enchanted root beer bottle, root beer must be fizzy, combine the first four ingredients to create the cutlass, spray cutlass with enchanted root beer, serves one. <laughs> okay. Must, must be fizzy. Okay, first, right off the bat, I like just the amount of references to the previous games they've already thrown in. Like, we have the ultimate insult, which was supposed to be quite the... <laughs> but that was supposed to be one of the major things from Escape from Monkey Island. Uh, the root beer, back to the very first damn game. And also the piranha poodles, also back to the first game. <laughs> And, of course, Guybrush attempting to insult sword fights. Or at least insult without the sword fighting. The sword he's, <laughs> he needs to get still. Okay, not that. Uh, where are we going to find some damn root beer on this ship? <laughs> yeah, oh, also, before I forget. Well, I was, I was the train. I'm just not that into you. Okay. Right, was I was the train in this game. To see what to expect. I first know this. Right, I will see. Your infernal struggling, or I'll gut you from gob to gizzard. <laughs> I dare you! I dare you! Right, I was saying. <laughs> it seemed that the trailer, you know, showed a different voice actor in the trailer, and I happen to did not <laughs> keep with that the voice actor, for it was not fitting La Shock. Uh, well, at the moment it sounds like the original. Yeah. And I, the, the moment you said "I dare you," who looked at the screen? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I would not be surprised if they showed the trailer and had a backlash. Could there be. also might be that I misidentified the voice acting due to it might be just a bad quality. Could be. And uh, is this the is that the, the that damn pink boat that he's on again? the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshy? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. <laughs> Do you agree? Uh, let's see. Uh, nope. What is it saying? To examine the coffin, select the magnifying glass, then select the... Oh, up there. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. But this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. Oh, I sure realize <laughs> that Hell Games is back. For they are, I think they are the ones making the new uh, 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 Big Bad Wolf game. Uh, Wolf Among Us? That one, yes. Uh, Look at the logo, Lucas Old. It looks kind of bad. Lucas Old. Mm. Lucas Old and Telltale Games are back. Yeah. And while well, they are making Please another of these. Uh, yes, yes, we know uh, what Elaine thinks. She thinks you you are many things. Also, why the hell does Le Chuck's have no ship have a Le plant Chuck? up the front? Wait. What was that? Of course it doesn't. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate booty. <laughs> Uh, okay. So we need to give. Oh, to combine items, place an item on each of the. Okay. Uh, don't we need. The cup blue is the only thing that can stop the truck! Alright, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Flat root beer? What kind of second rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Uh, oh, I think I they see what we need to do here. Where I'm. Guessing we need to do here. Breath mints. And uh oh. Now it's <laughs> this city. <laughs> yeah, now it's very, very fizzy. <laughs> okay. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Come and get me, you dirt dick and dirty dipper! Stop showboating and spray the sword, guy brush! I'm not showboating, I'm <laughs> Whoa! Oops. Guy. Now we're going to die. Again. 
Wonderful. Okay. Again? No problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Um. We have a cannon here. I fire the cannon, but the lane jettisoned all my ammo after I accidentally sunk her mother's schooner. Accidentally? <laughs> what is with that plant? What? Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, guy brush. Now stop the chucker, we're all dead. What's going on here? The chuck hijacked my ship and sailed to the Rock of Gelato to finish his terrifying voodoo ritual. It's a good thing we've got the Cutlass of Kaku on our side, or we'd be done for. What I don't know what to do. Neither do I. I think we're doomed. <laughs> At least she's honest. I, well, I was to say, every time I hear that, that sword snap, I think of uh, the Wakfu series for some reason. <laughs> Uh, which we recently gave a shot. The animation is definitely up there, and we can see it's very clear why it took them 10 years to make three seasons of that. Yes, yeah, still hey, impressive. You've got no nearly strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Hmm. Uh, what's. Uh, how did you do that? <laughs> Well, she put the right rope. How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few <laughs> tricks, darling. Uh -oh. My ship, my booty, my collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop the chuck. Ah, Threepwood. So good at the joint. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. And now you're going to have to sink your own ship. <laughs> uh, let's oh see. dear. To use an item from the inventory on objects in the world. Won't someone <laughs> please think of the monkeys? <laughs> tap an item in your inventory to select it, then tap the axe to close your inventory and tap the object you want to use the item on. Okay, let's get... let's... Yeah. Let's... Uh, Brace yourself. I'm gonna cut you free. Cut through these ropes with that sword? Are you crazy? Crazy in love, maybe. You just worry about the chuck, sweetheart. I'll be okay. Yeah, so no freeing the competent one. Also, yeah. how long is it taking you yes. to kill a freaking monkey, the chuck? Uh, yeah, look, look down. Yeah, there's a hatch full of monkeys and <laughs> gunpowder. Yes. Yes. Maybe we can shove the monkeys in the barrels. I'm just not that into you. Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to the chuck. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. <laughs> uh, Hang in there, guys. Uh, we'll get you out as soon Okay, at least I can skip these bits. Uh, can I give that to the monkeys? Okay. Nope. <laughs> hey, the chuck. Okay, he's not messing around as usual. Uh, can we put that monkey in the box? I'm not putting that poor monkey in a coffin until he's well and truly dead. Which, from the looks of things, ought to be in about ten minutes. <laughs> uh, anything with these breath mids, perhaps? I think that monkey's got enough problems without me complaining about his breath. <laughs> Wait, behind you! Here, behind you, it's... I think that's the plug you do root beer from. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yep. Hang in there, guys. Yep. Okay, this, this, moving around like this is going to be a bit annoying. The uh, chuck, do it. Really use a trim. Chuck the plant? Uh... Did... Yes. <laughs> did the chuck yes. get an emotional support plant? Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. Oh, we've got the root, now we need the beer. Uh, chalk roots. It's a Wait, there was something... It's a lane's. 
Oh, right. So it's, it's, he stole her ship. Wait. wait. Are you going to mix it with the casket? Hey, Ross. I can't not. Oh, wait. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Poor yeah. little guy. It would have been, it would have been even, it would have been doubly hilarious if that was LeChuck's plant. Nothing can stop me. But it would make sense for Elaine to have it. It's like real grog, only without the taste of calories or debilitating blackouts. Like root beer. Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible not grog. Ugh. This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejune. It's also flat. Nothing can yeah. stop me now! What the heck is jejune? No clue, but we are just Now making... that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snuff, though. Oh, I'm well. not gonna ask. Okay, you barrel of disgusting low-cal goo. Make yourself useful. Chuck, here comes Guyver Streetwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, you, pun you punctured Nothing the bottom, you dumbass. It's empty? Uh. Uh. There we go. Chuck, do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Ha! You can't defeat me that easily, sheep good. Um. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. What the heck? Woof. Uh, oh, help. I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! Uh... What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Wait, what? Fine. Guybrush? Dancing? Maybe. <laughs> okay, this is a good rendition. Very chipper. Oh yeah. And, okay, and, okay, here the animation is much more pleasant to look here compared to the other one. Yeah, it's also a lot less chunky looking. Yeah. Okay. Like, it was not too bad on the other game. Just it look, look way more decent. Put way more work on the main characters. Yeah. And they even they had some moments of awkwardness. Okay, I did I I kept my distance from these to avoid spoilers of course. And well until recent more recently the Bunk Island games didn't really interest me too much, so I didn't even look <laughs> I actually didn't even get any accidental spoilers. But I did not see <laughs> Chuck turning human or alive. Uh, hey, I'm coming. And it looks look like Guybrush is the cursed one now. Yeah, what was I was say, Lechuck looked oddly friendly. Morning. Ahoy there, me hearty. What? Don't worry, we'll have you up and sucking back a grog in. No, my dote! My beautiful pirate dote! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry, I, I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippercat. Davy Nippercat. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam oh. Island. 
Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? Uh... <laughs> I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. Right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says I. Yep. <laughs> Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to like this hand. <laughs> I get the feeling it's going to be a real sassy bitch. You mean like when I was stuck in your head? <laughs> uh, this guy is quite a motor mouse. This island looks uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand, the winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped. Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Okay. Deep Gut? <laughs> we have ogres. Deep gut. What's a deep gut? Yeah, deep oh, come on, don't take me out like that. Off-island news stories, and it's a good thing too. Without the guts, uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaul Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Julian, hmm? before you click anything, before you click anything, I think I know who that is. Uh, who then? This, the voice does sound a bit familiar with that scratchy tone to it. That too. Just, he said something about his name that rang a bell. Hmm? I think that's Davy Jones. He said his middle name with a yay. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Wait, be careful and... now. A deal? Yeah. Off Island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. <laughs> yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to like that hand causing trouble. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, but one thing already I don't really like is that it it seems like a lot of the uh, chat options aren't going to be real options and more just three ways to get to the same end, which is a complaint that people had with a lot of Telltale games. That's in, uh, in an in the end, uh, little of your choices actually mattered. Or at least, as they went on, the choices mattered well, little and li less and less. Work. Yeah, right. for... If you... But, Joel, it's still like within point and click adventure. But you're supposed to be known for making... Uh, point and click adventure have uh, alternative endings and such? Then you should probably stick to it. Yeah, I, I think the last of their games that they really did have splitting stories with, supposedly, I've not looked too much into it and thus avoided spoilers, 
was uh, their Batman game. Supposedly. Yeah, Batman and I think... Uh, what was it name again? Among... Wolf Among Us? Um... Can't really be sure, but that, I did hear that Wolf Among Us is supposed to be among one of their best. And... Yeah, we, I'm very tempted to give that a shot at some point. Well, we already we already had it on a showcase Sunday, so yeah, we'll just have to find a spot where to put it in, and it'll be a bit difficult to stream because yeah, we can't do much commentating on it when it has timers on chat options and such. Yeah, this is probably why we even said we like not put it on the stream due to the high difficulty to even commentate. Yeah, we'll we'll just have to see sometime. Maybe if we run up uh, into trouble with some other games or so. Yeah. Oh, also, here's the thing. Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. <laughs> okay. But the thing, the other thing, is that you said retirement, which means no time to think and ponder on the options. Which is, well, it, it's part of the, it's part of the design, pretty much, that, uh, yeah, it, you're supposed to act on your first instinct and thought, not try and, uh, yeah, weigh out the options for, like, five minutes before you actually say anything, like, in some other games. Mm, yeah, I can see that. It could be an issue. Interesting. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Squid udders? Uh, um, I think you might need a biology class again, Nick <laughs> Ibrus. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. All right. Wait, let me show something here. If wind hmm? blows inward towards island from every direction, wouldn't that cause a weather phenomenon? Like a, I don't know. A hurricane or something? Yeah. Then I get. I guess the island is too big for that to really be concentrated enough to form. But I do get the feeling we're probably going to unleash a hurricane on this place. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's see if we can get in. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keel Hall or employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. <laughs> Hey, Davey. Call me Nippikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. <laughs> so, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship seizing, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me, and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. Okay, sounds like we have three things to do then, similar Hi. to the hey, first game. The pirate, kid. I'm rooting for you. With uh, the three trials. Only in this case, we need to do a bar fight, we need to find treasure, and we need to seal a ship. Uh, wait, I just realized something. David Jones sailed the. Flying Dutchman, correct? Yep. Does that mean Davy Jones is a Dutchman? Hmm, I don't. I don't know too much about the actual person slash legend, uh, depending on which I actually existed or not. <laughs> I know, I'm not. Don't know if there really was a Davy Jones pi uh, pi uh, pilot captaining a ship called. The Flying Dutchman, I'd have to double check on that. But. Hmm. I'm not sure yeah. if most of the, le the legend of uh, David Jones really have him as a Dutchman as well. Yeah, I, I want to know that he got cursed for sailing on a holy day. Okay. So, he permanently stuck on the sea as a punishment. I'll. Uh, Just for I'll sailing on a Sunday. Okay, that I did not know. I'll I'll do a bit of research on the side here while Guybrush is reacting to stuff. If the fucking phone wants to re uh, actually respond. Patchy. 
Wait. The Luth, their Flotsam Saugen. The something of Flotsam something? Was that in Dutch or German? It's German. Right. If it was Dutch, it would be de or het. D-E or H-E-T. Which are right. both like, which are both versions of the. Uh, did I click something? Uh, no, we just transitioned to a different place. Okay. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long delayed three month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. <laughs> okay. Grindstone? Nope. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Lafley, pirate hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. <laughs> Wait, what? At Lafle. There's a King Arthur reference and yeah, a pun. Lafay. <clears throat> Oh dear. <laughs> well, blow me down, glassworks. Okay, that's a clever one. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. Uh, wait, that flag. I recognize it's that. Locked. Uh, that one, red. Yeah. Or red, yellow, orange. <laughs> oh wait, no, that. Okay, I'm dumb. I thought it was the Dutch flag. For some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's a, quite a lot different with red, white, blue. Uh, like the French flag, but turned on its sides. Ooh. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my right off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well-coiffed friend. Ooh. Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the screaming narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, boyo. But I didn't build the Screaming Narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? <laughs> no, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sots look. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually <laughs> recognize this character. Uh, and he appears in the... Uh, he appears in the... I'm not sure if he... It's one or both. But he appears in the uh, Poker at the Inventory uh, Nights. Uh, po or Poker Night at the Inventory Games. Which were also made by Telltale. Uh, okay? Yeah. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. <laughs> Oh no, I think I know what's going on. Uh, what um, then? Helia, we are inside the eye of the storm. Okay. Well, you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Um. Seeing you. I look forward to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. The weather never ever does a thing for me. What the heck um, was that? He was trying to sing. The screaming I narwhal think. may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. <laughs> I'm pretty sure to be a ship or to be an official ship, you need to be seaworthy in the first place. Also, uh, hello. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Uh, 
are you do you know this brand by <laughs> experience guy brush oh dear but well, he's married hey, and it's sock club 41 probationary member number 37 reginald van winslow this should come in handy okay. <laughs> No, okay, uh, I want you on the spoil, uh, Hilian. Do you think my theory that we inside the eye of the storm holds any water? Or the pun? Um, not too sure, because if if this was the eye of the storm, we'd be seeing well storm clouds on the in the sky around the place, not above it, of course, but around. But maybe there is some sort of giant storm off in the distance. So we'll just yeah. have to see, I guess. Yeah, but that's my only current theory, and I agree, for... You would expect to see the storm around the island, at least. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't want us messing with that to get that its pants. Uh, let's go take a look at that place. That looks like someone important we can offend. Oh dear. Can we, okay, we can actually just walk around with the keyboard as well. Instead of just uh, what doing the... this the entire time. Um... Yep. <laughs> Those are some big swordfish. Oh, also they can pretty get that fake. big. They can be a bit that big. I'm Probably not sure is... whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Yeah, probably is, I'm sure you should be using them as uh, pillars. Yeah. Mmm, flowers. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. And the kleptomania begins. The doctor oh dear. is busy. Sounds like he's busy. <laughs> okay. Wait, was that a laugh or what was that? I think a cry of pain. Uh, is that a turtle? Uh, at the top there, it does look similar like a turtle, but I think I think it might be a door with the skull and the bones uh, arranged to make it look like a turtle. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. We have turtles that big, but they are extinct. Yeah. For millions of years. Uh, Get him wild uh, there, vowels. What the heck did he come from? Probably because we uh, talked with the captain. Uh, wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey. And I never thought I'd see a talking baboon! So I guess we're even. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel, Helium? Hey there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, yourself? Hey, look. I be Gaffer Crimp Digit, pirate glassblower. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glassblowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and kiss your eyeballs goodbye. Again? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. <laughs> well, uh, it's very obviously he lost his. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's better for the dangers from blowing glass. Like, I don't think you want searing molten glass on your skin. Yeah. Uh, if I had the clip I, and I had it in OBS, I would have brought up that uh, clip of uh, Adam Savage with the... Uh, Am I missing an eyebrow? <laughs> I would have put that up here. <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> so, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, Maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. Um. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Dodging the sensors already. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Oh, What's dear. this alphabet sale all about? It's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very cap. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Yeah. Well, I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go. A U? What about A E I O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is YouTubes these days. <laughs> okay. Uh, if that'd been a V, that would have been utterly hilarious. Wait, I just realized. YouTube was a thing when this was made, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> also, buying a vowel. Uh, what what was that gamer called again? Uh, uh, not hey, Lingo. Man, no, not what? Hangman's News either. Uh, though I get the feeling we're probably going to get something like that at some point in this game. Oh um, the one with the spinning wheel and such. Mm. You mean behind you? Oh, rather, not that. Over there? <laughs> <laughs> um. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> also, this guy ha Wait, does he have eyebrows now, or is that just the shadow of his uh, brow? Because <laughs> he, he has what? a... <laughs> he could probably catch wind and take flight with those. Um, Helian, look at the statues. Hmm. Okay, we'll go back and... Hey, Liz... Oh, okay, smiley. Uh... Their tails are finned, so maybe dolphin men or something? Let's go take a look. What was that damn game called again? The, the runaway guys have been playing Dragons it for quite a while. Or are they mermen? Oh, also makes sense. Hmm. Pretty sure mer people aren't supposed to have legs. The ones? Murlocs? Oh, hello. Should I go on? Uh, what the? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, hi. Ah, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinary. Uh, mind if we just call you Joan? Or John? The heck? What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. <laughs> Action figures. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate terp flavored breakfast soup. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. How many PP pirates do you have left? The only oh, power God. pirate I have not found. Is the ultra rare, impossible to find a dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana? I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scam? Jace, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving yeah. arms sold me a ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. Uh. 
We know who that is. All oh, right, yeah, I may have accidentally got spoiled and wanted to prove not mention him. Uh. Uh, do you need a hug? Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Yep. I, uh, <laughs> I was expecting it to be a different kind of hazard. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. <laughs> oh, strong uh, as porcelain. Not too strong, if I remember correctly, because, yeah, if you let it drop it's going to break of course and i wonder if guy rush is still going to have a thing about not wanting to touch porcelain at all cost yeah wait i just realized that. chinese people apparently made porcelain knives okay that could be similar to glass knives um, and probably like right or like ceramic knives we have today. I, I own two ceramic knives, and those are not yokes. I'm always extremely careful when using them. Yeah. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. What's Just gonna close that the window? Pile of dolls, action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I love pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. <laughs> Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. <laughs> you just like that one guy, bro. <laughs> what? 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 Wait. Was this a... How old is Dora the Explorer? Uh, by now, probably old enough to freaking drink. I didn't know that. I, I thought it was maybe like five years old or something. Uh, I don't know if it for that long. Look, it's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action. Quit. Oh, really? Ooh! Gummy worms! Okay, it's only a little porcelain, just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Alright, let's see. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leaf. Yep, and he goes back to playing with his dolls. <laughs> well, what else is to do to do there? What have we here? That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. The hell? Mm, curious. Okay. Yeah, this button here is probably in case we get lost or just want to get the hell out. Let's see. Is there anything to find? I don't hope. I hope uh, we don't have to deal with too many uh, mazes and such. Hillian, you walk past bombs. Yep. Okay. Oh. Pff. I was <laughs> looking in the background. Smiling stands Young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. Yeah. And now Stan is selling explosives to kids. Of course. He thought he was getting into a, as a good person in the in the third game yeah oh hello what's this that's odd don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions hmm what is this place nom 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 what's the word i'm selling these fine leather jackets <laughs> That line has shown up in pretty much every game now. Okay. But what is it reference to? 
Something about that shack shivers me timbers. <laughs> Not really sure, actually, because I think that's only the first or second time that we've touched it. And hello. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Okay. Can we interact with it somehow? Uh, hmm. I don't want to blow that up. Ah. Uh, Hell. I'm wishing well. In the middle of the jungle. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. <laughs> hey. Arr, no! Yikes. <laughs> okay. There. Uh, is this thing like a, is this thing like a monkey's paw? I wish I were the mightiest pi uh, Okay, just the same. I was hoping for different Arr, effects. No! Yes. Okay, let's continue looking around. Um I'm hoping these screens aren't randomized. Uh, okay, I think that actually did we go here? Oh yeah, it's definitely randomized. Yeah, there's some. It looks like you're supposed to put stuff on them. Probably yeah. to make it easier to navigate. Yeah, yeah, probably also, more. It, probably more mechanism. And yeah, that's also why they put this in here, <laughs> so you could find your way out. Oh, this is new. I wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Tastes like chicken. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we found the altar of KFC. Okay. And here's another one of we these. Mm, curious. Mm, yeah, let's head back. Oh, we were already back here just a bit ago. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello. Okay, this is quite nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jungle entrance, beach, dock. There's a bunch of... Oh, there's the creepy shack. There's a few more places to visit. There's some sort of fate rock face there. Some maybe cliff or something. For now, let's just head back. I tried to move around up there, but couldn't. Um, actually, before we head anywhere, let's have a no, but let's have a look at this map. If, if I can put it back. Okay. That jungle sure is noisy. Okay, wishing well. Then a hog, a monkey, bee, monkey, hog, bee. Birds, and then Dark Ninja Dave. Wait, hmm. you said he so it takes like chicken on the table. Chicken of birds. Could be. Hmm. Or maybe something with that calendar. Possibly. I didn't actually hmm. get a look at it. I think we're passing through the same screens now, so it's not entirely random, I think, of where to go. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, nothing on this of the things we're looking for. Hmm. And now we head the back here. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Let's give this a shot, at least. Map. Wishing well. Oh. That did something. Then we need to find a warthog. Then a monkey. Hmm. This looks promising. Oh. There was a... I heard a snor 
sound of... Oh, hello, no. The sounds. It's a... It's an audio puzzle. That jumble sure is noisy. Noisy. Now we need to listen for bees sounds. Buzzing. Okay. Monkey, Hello? pig, bee. Oh. Oh. Monkey. Really look, look at the map again. What is after monkey? Pig, then B. Ah. Uh, so you just press I. That jungle okay. sure is noisy. Monkey, pig, then B, bird. Pig, B, bird. Uh, no, not that. Pig, B, bird. Pig, B, bird. Monkey. You came from there. On guard! Yep. Pig. So far, so good. No. Oh. B. Wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial. Hmm. Okay, not the altar. It's monkey sounds. Bird sound. And there we go. Okay. Oh dang! Looks like someone already dug up this treasure. Why do we get the feeling that's probably Stan that he took the treasure and then <laughs> sold the map to it? Then again, Stan's a bit of a lazy bastard. I, but we've never really seen him do much work. Hmm. Yeah, but okay. this seems like a... A low scam, even for him. Hmm. Hmm. Shortcut. Okay. Well, can we at least go tell him about the treasure? Hey. Davy, what do you got for me, sleep good? I still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles, but they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure hunter to give you a hand. I mean, that would be, uh, Doro. <laughs> what kind of ships are there to seize on Flotsam Island? We've only got one ship on Flotsam, the Screaming Narwhal. It hasn't been seized in years. Where does a pirate go to start a bar fight on this island? Well, the only bar around here is Club 41. Good luck starting a fight in that joint. They run a pretty tight ship over there, you know what I mean? I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so for now, the treasure light. hunt is a dead end. Light, light, light. In the meantime, we can check a look here. Thank God. Card? Oh, yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Uh... Right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. In three, two, one. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. Minachos! I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Ow! Get him! Ow! 
Without <laughs> even freaking trying. What a fight! That was spectacular, Driftwood. Best pirate brew ha I've seen in months. I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these buffalo pirate stories, Driftwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. <laughs> okay. He literally didn't even get in through the door before he started the fight. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. <laughs> I love them. Uh, I, I'm not much. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not much for olives. My mother does love them though. So whenever there's olives in anything we <laughs> end up with, uh, she gets oh. them. Oh, she can get. She can take the olives. I want the sword. <laughs> okay, those are. Uh, hmm. I don't think I've ever seen anything other than uh, those uh, little toothpick-like uh, things in them. Yeah, hmm. I, I had a few actually that I got for free from people who had them. So they just yeah, gave them the swords to me because they knew I loved swords. <laughs> I sadly don't have any anymore. Uh Okay, uh, can we even get on the board? Prepare to be boarded then, Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. <laughs> oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be PO'd? <laughs> uh, is boyo a Dutch term? Uh, no. And the dead winds crest you. Oh, and a bottle of grog. Free vowels! Uh, Get him wild there, vowels! Uh, let's have a bit of a look at stuff. Uh, I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it took me a moment to notice that the text. <laughs> uh. Wait, if that's the nose, then it must be nose of something. I wonder what the artist was trying to say with this flower pot. Other than I need some more pottery lessons, of course. I don't think it's supposed to be a flowery pot. It's a U-shaped tube. The U must stand for unbreakable, I guess. <laughs> Well, it's it pink look... pajama Pierre, one of Doro's porcelain power pirate action figures. I think I know what we need to do with that. Uh oh. Because be what, yeah, what is something that uh, Guybrush has quite a bit of experience in? Whipping people Arr, out. Pink pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu! Is this the end of Pink Pajama Pierre? <laughs> I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. What? Oh. And we have this Grogatini sword. And there we Between go. Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. Uh, maybe... Remove the olive? Nothing like a quick paint job and a dangerously pointy accessory to turn a sad unwanted doll into an exciting ninja assassin. And also, people, I have tried olives and... Any nose? Yeah, not my thing. <laughs> yeah, to each their own. Uh... Yeah, I don't like olives, but I do like uncooked mushrooms, so... Okay. Uh, let's see. Is he actually Remind even me. on the map here? How do you prefer your flamethrower? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep up with that one. Yeah, I, I think I've forgotten where we even started with that, but... <laughs> uh, you said you'd rather... Was it about you'd rather eat a flamethrower? Than doing some something. 
<laughs> I've forgotten where in what game when that started. <laughs> no, no. It was related to Stargate. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> Just what in Stargate have we forgotten? But uh, I first yeah. went, nope, I'm gonna save that. <laughs> As happy as it'd make Doro to finally get his hands on a Dark Ninja Dave, or an unreasonable facsimile, I think it'd be a lot more newsworthy if he found it himself. Okay. Oh, okay, that... That's that, unusually... That's, uh, kind. that's unusually kind of him, yeah? And that's uh, why wait. it's here. Why we can go back there like this. Yeah, and I know something. I think the pillars at the entrance is giving us clues. Uh, let's have a look at that then. Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthily for famed out of shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. <laughs> he even made a freaking axe. I, I do like those transitions. Oh, yeah, very smooth. And, well, the fact that the flots and name is literally made out of debris. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if I see anything that could be taken as a hint because they're both the same. Yeah, the, that. yeah but the other side is also have all, all the patterns. Uh, but they look like the ones on the calendar. Hello again. Hi. Doing that. Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. Okay, we don't have to go through all of that. And X marks this spot. See? I told you I could find it. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. <laughs> we can keep that. Where the hell did you even get that? What the deals? Dark Ninja Dave! With Killer Karate Katana! <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave! Dark Ninja Dave! <laughs> Finally! The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine! All mine! Ow! I got dirt in my eye. <laughs> my ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. But that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I'd better catch up with that wheezy pirate before he has a coronary, or worse. Starts talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy pirate, Threepwood. Keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gun will be all yours. Okay, they, they could have done the audio a bit diff, a bit better by putting it after he stops talking. And before people think that is, I think they're referring to birds, not women's yeah. boobs. <laughs> they're skirting the sensors as much as they possibly can. Okay, so that's two out of three tasks done. Now we just need to get uh, the captain off his high horse, or rather off his ship. Wait. Okay, I, I, I think I have a lot of dodge nets in my brain today. I think it ain't boo beginner a dodge word for something. Um. Any news? Not that I can actually think of at the moment. Yeah, but maybe I'm mixing up. I know, uh, but I know what the birds known as uh, blue-footed boobies. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody definitely taking the piss with it when they were getting that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're naming yeah. that. Oh, I, bet, I know it's, it's supposed to mean me. dumb, but I forgot in what language. <laughs> but I do know oh, the Dutchman damn. got around a lot. Uh oh. Uh, hot, hot, hot! Ow! Uh, uh, and now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. Oh, hello. Dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. uh. Hello, Captain. 
Uh oh. Okay. Now what? Uh, die brush. <laughs> oh, die brush. Never light an explosive without your target ready. <laughs> Take that! I'm sorry. What exactly was I supposed to be taking? Never Die mind. brush. You have many more, luckily enough, but uh, oh, you're, you're gonna need something to help you throw it. Or uh oh, uh oh. Um, I'm a bit scared. I think I know what Hilia's doing. Oh, you're gonna... These size 9 bombs won't fit in that size 3 sock. Uh, uh come on, Kyvers. Uh, can we throw it at the... And and the dead winds crest you. <laughs> oh, and a bottle of grog. That's not going to go well. That hurt. What the heck? <laughs> it sounded a lot more like he was just freaking annoyed. Okay. Well, I have a severe bowel problem. Okay, now what? I don't want to blow that up. Uh, actually, can we... <laughs> I'm aware. Oh, actually, we can. It's a good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. <laughs> and then we pull the crank, but he we already saw what he does when we do that. Or, actually, he, uh, and he sends it right back. <laughs> oh, monkey spit. <laughs> yeah, those are some sturdy undies. Okay, we're going to need to distract him as we do that, it seems. Yeah, uh, okay, so far, Dufan, Sichuan seems a bit more smooth and fun right here. compared to the, uh, the one we uh, abandoned. Yeah. No, I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. But it was fun, just... I mean, hard to enjoy. Yeah. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Hmm. Oh, but is that supposed to be a yeah, but YouTube? <laughs> I think yeah. Uh, let's have another look at if this. this. Morgan Lafley pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads. I'd better give him a wide berth. Okay, then we're kind of out of items at the moment. Um, is the doctor perhaps done here? Because we seem to be about done in the forest with what we can do, unless we can find the, the ant, that the password. No, he's still busy. Nothing we can get behind here. Yep. Hmm. Be right back. I'm gonna refill my drink. Okay. Hmm. We've managed to solve the puzzle so far. I'm back. I. So you are. I almost dropped the cap of my bottle. Oh. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? I'm not to get quakes. Yeah. We already knew all of that. Aye. Hmm. Can we combine any Aye. of these? Ah. Not there. Uh, uh, are you back. smelling the flowers? Hmm. Okay, nothing we can do with these items at the moment. Hmm. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. <laughs> I, I, I suspect the flowers thing is supposed to be at the nose of a statue. Maybe. Well, it's a nose. Hmm. What, where, where else do you suspect a nose to be? No. In your case, you are missing a nose, it looks like. 
Yeah, that's that's the okay, angle. There it is. <laughs> um, let's 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 keep wandering around a bit more. I don't sacrifice that. Uh, maybe we'll find something of interest. Oh gosh, there's rumors of it. Someone has made a short horror, in, a short horror about someone taking people's nose. Yeah. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. So yeah, you basically have a horror villain that is all about what you know. Leaving the people alive without their nose, it just looks, it, it just looks horrifying. But at the same time, yeah. I wonder, how the heck did they do those effects without actually removing a person's nose? Uh, <clears throat> I think, I think you can make uh, body parts quote unquote disappear by green screening them out and then, well, putting something over it. Or well, graphic effects over it. Yeah, but it doesn't sound easy. I don't think a flower sconce would it. Hmm. Okay, we're missing something. I'm going to keep running around a bit more to see if we can find what we're missing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Here's. Yeah. You see what I mean? They. These look like the things on the gate. But the pillars, the only thing that's not on the pillars is the manatee. Hmm. I I'm guessing... I'm guessing those mechanisms we've passed probably turn these. But there are three of them and there are two layers. There, no, there's also the middle, though I'm not sure if that's, that's going to do anything then. Hmm. Let's keep wandering around a bit more. Maybe we'll find something else. It's this shack again. Hmm. I just heard you. I thought you said Le Shock. <laughs> this shack. Yeah, Le Shack. I was thinking, um, is he thinking hmm. about Le Shock at this moment? I'm going to take a quick. Actually, do I. I forgot to check this, but do we have a hint book of this game? Uh, let's see. No additional executables. So no hint book this time. I might actually have to look up a, for a bit on what to do for <laughs> to get it <laughs> to progress. So give me a second. I, I thought I closed this down earlier. Apparently not. Uh, Wait, I feel see something. There's odd pillars on the island. There yeah, might be totems. We haven't found and, them yet, though. Yeah, but here's the thing. The nose might belong to one of them. Oh, it seems that this manual is in Dutch for some reason. Uh, let's that's, see. That's kind of good, in a way. At least in your case. Okay, Screaming Narwhal, now we've found bombs. Uh, pink pants. Wait, something's wrong here. <laughs> Wait, there's something missing here, I think. Uh, Club 41, glass blower. Explore the city. It says to... Or maybe we... Maybe we turned it too fast or something? Oop, and there's Guybrush, <laughs> visible by the glow that his hand is leaving behind. Oh dear. Yeah, maybe maybe we sent it up too early or something. Unicorns! Get your hand Does the, blown glass, unicorns! It doesn't say... It doesn't mention any other oh, step you here. Dead winds crashed, you <laughs> in the bottle of grog. Okay, so put that in. Okay, go back over here. Oh, oh it now in. I get it. But then we wait for a bit before sending it up. Okay, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Oh, monkey spit. Hmm. Yeah, those are some sturdy undies. Mm hmm. Needs a ship. Pass with soon with jungle. Mm hmm. Gets the membership cards. Uh, Jaqueen Doro, Treasure Hunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it re it it doesn't give any other steps here, other than to put it in. Uh, mm. Captain Winslow's. Oh. Let's see. Is there a way to trick him into trying to act early or something? Alley-oop! Uh-oh. Hey! Oh! He's going to deliver the bomb to himself that way. Okay. The weather never ever does a thing for me. Oh, discover glorious! Uh, he, he's going to be almost literally hoist by his own <laughs> petard or <laughs> his own pants. It's a good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Okay, I should have I should have looked around for more things to click. No, don't, please. <laughs> Special delivery. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. <laughs> uh, well played, uh, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. I bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! He's bloody quick. I just got a oh. tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, three point you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. <laughs> Why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hauler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. <laughs> and that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now, about Deep Gun. My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gun file. Prado. Right away, Mr. Nippikin. Uh. Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gun. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davy Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this deep gun person how to get off this island and back to LA. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Yeah, the, those victor tones should be after the speech, for that makes it just annoying to try to hear. I mean, yeah. At least that's subtitle, but still. Also, uh, why do I get the feeling that Deep Gut is the guy himself, just putting up a voice like he did there? Hmm. As soon as I just... I expect a... Ogre? But that's probably because, well, I watched too much lore videos about ogres, 
and all the water host stuff, and I, I have tried Ogre's Warmer Free a bit. <laughs> What's the word? Wait, that voice. Deadline. It's the guy we punch, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. I think it's someone else. That you may have met. Welcome, to oh. Rush. <laughs> Hello. Hello, lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions. There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Uh. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. Okay, uh, she was not the one I expected. Wait, half I expected the Captain Dread. <laughs> that would have been pretty fun as well. Yeah, I thought it was a door man. I tried to destroy LeChuck with the cutlass, but I had to make some last second substitutions and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't what believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. I'm gonna clip Give that out. LeChuck, this is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Does it first let me see her? Angry? Angry? <laughs> yeah. Have you got anything for my hand? I think I may have picked up a rash somewhere. Fascinating. And itchy. Can you fix it? No. Then what in the name of Satan's yep. comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was! Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? <laughs> yes. Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechak, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? <laughs> La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating <laughs> abilities capable of absorbing Holy. limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him. And tell him I vouched for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> that okay. is a... Go that was a bit of a reaction from Guybrush <laughs> with the hand. <laughs> and yeah. honestly, when he's when he said rude, rude justice, I was almost <laughs> I was almost expecting him to try and flip her off. I would not be surprised if they wanted to, but to change that. And also, did you see how big the sponge was? Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Oh. Uh, just to be used Tell to clean okay. things with those. Mm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger. Or dead. Or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where LeChuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, LeChuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. I have to say, I like the improvement design a lot more and more in each game. However, 
Is it new? Does he seem to gain more weight in, mm. in every game? Um, no comment. <laughs> yeah, still the one for charm. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. Hmm. And yeah, the, the ways that she's getting news from off island is through that crystal ball, I'm guessing. Most likely. What else can you tell me about the pox of Lechuk? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading Lachuk's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the pox wending its way to this very island. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait oh, Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... <laughs> la 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 la, not listening! <laughs> Oh, we need a re <laughs> someone. Like a volcano! But after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed <laughs> with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. <laughs> okay, I have to say this. But she may have a skull tattoo on her face was usually scary or funny oh no you it just looks adorable on her for some reason it makes her look like a uh, hamster <laughs> and we're not used to the term hamster i feel you see she looks like the nicest voodoo lady ever yeah, probably because she is uh, uh, it's kind of funny you know, that even the skull tattoo is scary i still don't know your name Names have power, Guybrush Streepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Streepwood. Also, why did you move again? Didn't you say you were tired of that? Yeah, uh, what the heck is that? Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? <laughs> no, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh... The heck? Are you on? I, uh, I have no idea what she even wanted to make that for, but she probably should have sealed it in the box if it was going to be voice sensitive. Yeah, so, did you say pyrite? Yeah. You know pyrite is, right? Yep, it's uh, fool's gold. Yeah, oh, as we Swedes call it, cat gold, or cat gold. Okay. I don't know why we, why, what it has to do with cats, I have no idea. And also, look next to you, do you see something? That looks like yeah, that. It looks what, like what? one of the characters from. It, it looks. It looks like one that head chef from Watatui. I have not seen that one. For me, oh, have you met a character look like this in the in one of these game series? I don't think so. It, it looks International House of Bojo brand hand lotion, good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. 
Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. Rats. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not sure Let's... what kind of skull that is, but I hope I never run into one. I'll stop right, for a see. Let's let's keep that bottle away from our friend the Hexa Ghost. Should I even ask why? Well, I don't really want to remove him. <laughs> what? Worst Hex is a nice guy. Ever. Let's see. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuck can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. So that's a no. Uh, hello? What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Hmm. Oh. That really puts the die in diorama. What is this? It's a uh, dispenser of some sort. And then, look, look at the doll inside. Is that supposed that to be... really puts the die in die around. No, it's, it's not woody. Uh, right, it's, it's not in the Leones. That it, really puts the die in diorama. Could be maybe a bit of an over-exaggerated uh, with the hats, but... In these, in these thing was snakes that he was afraid of, not scorpions. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? Mark, it's me, Garbor Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. Heh. <laughs> Close enough. So what was he used to use that? If it can only have one. one Vo stored voice line. Spiffy rug. Oh. Is that some sort of voodoo four square court? That is the symbol of the crossroads. The intersection between this world and the world of the spirits. All those who practice the voodoo must make offerings to the crossroads to draw magic into the world of the living. Really? Because okay. I've never seen LeChuck offer up anything to anyone. That is because LeChuck is a selfish abomination. Hoarding voodoo power for personal gain without concern for the natural order of things. Now that he's human, his leftover plundered mojo is oozing around like a disease, clogging the crossroads with its putrescence. Like a toilet. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, so there's a stop sign on the rug. Uh, I'm guessing she was probably going to... I'm. A part of me is going to, wants to assume that it wasn't uh, finished yet, that it probably would have uh, been able to speak a lot more or something. Hmm. So, Lee? Uh. What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Okay. What's this? That. It's locked. Yes, and it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. Okay, going to just tease us with that? Yummy. <laughs> hey, Leon, no. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. <laughs> okay. I wonder what's in... Don't touch that. It's where I keep my unmentionables. <laughs> okay. You probably want to put that on the other side, <laughs> somewhere behind you where people can't easily get to it. So what's yes, this? But... Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flatsarm Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. 
But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. Magee? If that was a joke, I'm not getting it at the moment. <laughs> Why does it not ring a bell? It's a... It's a bit of a generic name that's used. Not too often, but often enough, I think. Murray? Yeah. <laughs> no. So, if we would have met a McGee in this game. Oh, hello. When did that happen? What the... Hmm. Guess this thing Wait. fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. I... Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. I think we ought to use it as navigation. From the looks of it, yeah. Oop. Hey there, Threeport! Hey, you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? Oh, Death Cloud. The Pox of LeChuck. The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of LeChuck. Eh, two on the nose, not enough pizzazz. Death Cloud is punching. More on your face, more. Woo, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. That thing is going to chase after us, isn't it? Today's forecast calls for the Pox of LeChuck oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with lots of stubbornly sucking winds to create a Cat 5 crud storm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Ooh, where are you, Guybrush? I see dinner. Yeah, I don't see Guybrush, so I did. Uh, oh, there oh, we see, go. I saw his ring. Yeah, I saw that as well, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's pause. Let's see. Is the dock open now? Yep. The doctor is in. Okay. Bonjour. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zit Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic. We must investigate at once. Guy mm. is going to lose that hand, isn't he? Interessant, alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. <laughs> Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Behind Monsieur him. Monsieur you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Uh, behind him was one of those uh, drawings of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, but with a freaking pirate. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I wanted to comment as well. And uh. also, that voice acting. I mean, I have I have heard the worst, way, way worse uh, fake French accent, but still. Uh. So how did dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were early days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy. Navigating scandalous palace entries. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? <laughs> a conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman crossbreeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. Uh, the King was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Well, then you were the first? We. Oui. 
Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Okay, so you were the first here, so he, he might know a thing or two about how things are going around here. Possibly, and it's hard to know how old he is at the moment due to all the... Makeup. Makeup, wig... Also, why does this monkey have, like, an electrode head with a hat? Oh, yes, I... I was going to ask earlier if that the monkey had a ponytail. <laughs> Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are rare, but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Yeah, uh... Forget I asked. <laughs> Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Hey! But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood, the only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, <laughs> which is why we'll have to amputate. Wait. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petite guillotine blade. <laughs> we don't want to cut off our hand with a dull blade now, do we? <laughs> well, I guess you have a point there. I can't look at that drawing without... What a loon. At least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed avatar before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, sorry. I was called a silo in the mine. Mo did not realize I was still streaming. It's a key. Uh, I can't reach it from this position. You Feats can, don't like... fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. <laughs> and people wondering, my mother just wanted to tell works. me that I'm my grandfather said hello. Key. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that the... Shock! Bad monkey! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. <laughs> Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> Wait. That's the universal it... symbol for yes. Is it the same monkey for the ship? It looks a bit like it. Yeah, though, it... Though the other monkey had a... normal tail? Oh, hello. Okay. Rat plus cheese and machine is power. And back... <laughs> come on, two peg legs. No, no, no. Uh, look again, Helian. Look again. Yeah, two normal legs and two peg legs. <laughs> that image is just so stupid. <laughs> what would it do? Go well with Pyrus, though. Let's see. I wonder what that does. That is my experimental food row volume, which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little voids. Why would you do that? Science! <laughs> why, why are you even listening in here? Aren't you supposed to be sharpening a blade? Uh. Oh, it's dear. a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it La Desangergraph. I call it creepy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's the key to Singe used to lock me down. If only it weren't so far away. Hmm. Come on, Jacques. Help a guy out. Wonderful. <laughs> hmm. Lightning and monkeys. What's the connection? Uh-oh. 
I mm -hmm. am worried. I, I need to somehow to test tubes. I really hate tests, but I'm generally okay with tubes. I, um, well, that's not gonna work. I right. can't answer the inventory. I am worried we are to somehow electrocute the monkey. Let's see what this does. Nope. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, banana god! Oop. Oop. Banana. This looks like it might do something interesting. Oh, cheese for the bowl. Cheese for the uh, what now? The, they call it. The, <laughs> the, the, oh. Wait, it has a metal tail. Ouch. You now notice? That looked unpleasant. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, feet. Make yourselves useful. All right. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. And then we... I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't think I want to drop this there. Hmm. I don't think I want to drop this there. Where do we send it then? I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't think I want to drop this there. Okay, where do we need to throw this then? Among those oh. other things, I think I drop this there. The box with the other pictures. Hmm. Whoops! I meant to do that. Okay. Uh, then if we do this, Oop. he comes back, puts that on, and if we give him a banana now, what does that do? Ah, skeleton hands. Okay. And he reacted when he got a shock. So if we shock him, yep, yep, yeah, he. <laughs> wow, an electromagnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. <laughs> uh. uh... <laughs> Oop. Wow, he seems excited about something. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Yep. This should bring him back. And... Come on, Jacques. Bring me the key. I'm on a first. What is it, boy? Are you hungry? Do you need to go to the bathroom? It's the bathroom, isn't it? <laughs> hmm, I could swear I've seen a monkey do that before. <laughs> okay. Banana, then use the key to free us, please. That's it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Ta-da! Monsieur Sripoud, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! I... I think he likes getting shocked. Wait, stop! I must have your beautiful, testifying hand! Come back! Slovenly parrots! Uh. Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Uh oh. Mm. A parrot hunter, eh? <laughs> okay, that's are going to be telling of what is going to happen in later episodes, I'm guessing. Yeah, but I like the fr uh, French uh, guys uh, design all just unsure about the accent. Yeah. Uh, but I heard fake French 
an actual French. An actual French is more pleasant to listen to compared to, you know, the extremely fake French. Okay, we already knew that. Unbreakable bottle. I just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting <laughs> off this island and back to Elaine. But how will I get it out of that unbreakable bottle? Hmm. Oh, actually, while we're on friends, here's a, here's a warning to people. Don't bring up Ulti from Marsh from Dexter Lab. Many French knew of that episode, and many of them, apparently a lot, a mo uh, majority of them from the French people I've spoken to, hate it. It's a joke they've been hearing too much. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that takes the slab episode is bad in France. Um, what was that? It's that he... is... Yeah, I know. Where, where he tries to learn French, but somehow gets stuck with just saying only uh, omelette du fromage. fromage. <laughs> yeah, like a freaking Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I think that's she's omelette. Yeah. And yeah, it, it's... Yeah, they really grow to hate that yoke. I should try a cheese omelette sometime. That's good. It's very it's rather simple. You, you make an omelette, hey I'm and once it's done, you put cheese in it. Pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock, Mickey. Uh, you hmm? couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could you? What? What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <laughs> aside from some Egypt <laughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> um, oh. yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Saint. The Marquis de Singe cut off your legs? Aye. Not only once, of course. He cut off the first leg seven years ago. After I stubbed me toe while investigating the winds of Hudson Island. Uh, that seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Ponzi Git has it in for me. Wait, is he behind it? He might be behind the winds. You were investigating the winds of Flotsam Island? I. I've been training a Sasalty Zany Zephyr since I <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I, but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stubbed me toe. When I went to that butcher de Sage, he cut me leg off. Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. What accent is that? I'm not sure. I think that accent could be described as crusty. Yeah, it... My game makes you think it should be as be either Scottish or maybe Irish, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, the crossness of his voice makes it very hard to identify. Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? Because the two diamond cannon cloggers kicked me out! Why? The club has a strict no feet, no service clause. Hey. Talk about adding insult to injury. What? And what? it seems what? we might be <laughs> infecting people with uh, LeChuck. Yeah, that's bad, and also... And that kind of discrimination? You know, even aside from the legs, you're looking a little green at the gills. I think you should mind your own beeswax, you lily liver tub sucker! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was what? Can I see your ancient scroll? Pray not, Skippy. Some two-bit witch stole it from me in a poker game a few months ago. Won't do any good without my eye of the manatee, though. Keen, 
Can I borrow it? Map it now, why in the name of Neptune's headmails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? Manatee. Where have you seen a manatee before, Helium? Yeah, on the uh, the calendar. If the singe does have it in for you, I might be able to use it to wreak some sort of piratey revenge on him. Ah, fine. Can't use it anymore, anyhow. Yeah, I, I guess stepping onto Thanks, the Hemlock. sand like that I would promise you lead. Probably won't regret this. If he were to step onto the sand with those, he'd probably just sink down to his knees instantly. Uh, probably not. Unless it's very, very soft sand. Uh, but we are at the two hour mark. So, yeah, I, th this is going a lot smoother than Escape From. Uh, it's a lot more enjoyable as well. We, we got a good amount of enjoyment. Oh, hello. Auto There's an auto save function. Always good. And oh, there's even descriptions. Okay. That is actually very handy. Yeah, in case you have left the game aside for a good while to catch you s yourself up a bit. Okay. Yeah, do I do wonder why don't people like this one and the last one? The last one I can see why. Possibly, but this one? I'm not sure so far. Okay. So before we start on our end, let's have a little look at anyone who might be online to raid. Though I should probably start the raid a bit later because the last time we it, it launched itself in the middle of our exit speech. Uh, let's see. Do I have it, anyone we can send to the raid even? <laughs> uh, well, I'm seeing two names in the list with Chatty. And oh, yeah, it'll be interesting to it'll it'll be interesting to go look some yeah you know, at someone myself. Uh, let's see. There is Zoe from Yogscast doing Warhammer. Yeah, not Warhammer. Blech. Or wasn't I was thinking Warhammer? They they are playing Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, little Karibo is playing Death Stranding. Hmm? Yep, yeah, you're getting a crown of misreading. <laughs> How do you then, think you misread Final Fantasy the Warhammer? Uh, let's see. Josh Strive Hayes, who is playing Time Crisis. And the, the, the Rooster Teeth. I'm, I'm guessing that's Rooster Teeth game. It's RT game. Who is playing uh, Stardew Valley. Both of those are rather big streamers, though. At 1.5k and 7k, or well, they're. Uh, oh, there's someone. There's someone playing that new Warhammer 40k game, Chaos Gate. The from what I've heard, that's basically uh, XCOM 40k. It is, and it fits rather well. Okay, and then there's Callum Upton who's playing some Rimworld. Um, I'm leaning to uh, the 40k guy. Snipe is Snipe and Wib. Could it be another duo of uh, streamers? Possibly. Okay. Possibly. So I'll need to move into my own chat. Uh, it's muted still, luckily. So it's not going to give an audio feedback. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just prepare. Actually, I, I'll just get their link as well and post them both at the same time. For anyone wanting to join. Okay, so there is. Ooh. Wait, emote. Oh, that, no, that, that's. Why did that go to Tatum's stream instead of my own? There we go. Okay. Then here is there. If it wants to connect the chat, that is. Uh, there we. Come on. No, screw it. I'm going. I'm going to put it into the chatty program. There we go. That is them. And now to at least type out the raid. A slash raid. Da, 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 da. Snipe. 
and Wib. I hope. Okay, it's connected now. I don't know if if I start that in uh, chatty, if it will act, would actually jump over. And since well, the stream chat over here started, I'm keep it here. Uh, I'll activate that in a bit. So okay, for now, uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Um, <clears throat> uh, I. No one was really feeling chatty today, but I did see a couple of names jump in and out uh, in the chatty program. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you for hanging around, anyways. Even if you don't uh, feel like chatting, and no problem with that. And yeah, thank you as always, Drake here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, this was going a lot better. Uh, I, I didn't really have many expectations, so I can't say if they were under or overshot, but it went well all the same. Um, tomorrow will be a bit of a double stream, most likely, unless I miss uh, the showcase Sunday somehow. So, yeah, uh, unless uh, unless something makes me suddenly change my mind or I somehow get pulled aside some for some reason, we'll have a showcase Sunday in early on 3 p.m. over here it's currently 10 p.m. Um, and then later on we'll have a minecraft stream on Corfell's uh, multiplayer uh, server uh, and yeah so let's start up the raids and I grab in the uh, access you get you get the torches Let's see, it says raid has been created, but it's not I'm not seeing it start anything. That's a bit odd. Um oh well, I'll I'll go take a look at these guys anyways. Did it did I Did I type it incorrectly? I think I did. Oh well, I'll I'll go take a look at them myself. Anyone who wants to join along for that, you're free to well, visit them on your own. <laughs> of your own accord. So, yeah. Thanks again. Tomorrow, possibly double stream. And, yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for, <laughs> watch out for the seagulls. <laughs> I blame you, Helia, for that. <laughs>